Hey everybody, this is Larry. This is the day 4th of June, the 4th day of the June Lead Code Daily Challenge. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, uh, and if you like this, well, you know, hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Reverse string. Reverse string. Write a function that reverses a string. The input string is given as an array of characters, char character thingy. Do not allocate extra space, I hate those as you know. For another array, you must do this modifying the input array in place of all one extra memory. You may assume all these characters consist of printable ASCII characters. These are usually like trivial, not trivial, sorry, trivia. In that like there's some like weird trick and you have to do it, but... So I'm not a fan of these in general, but this one seems okay and straightforward I suppose. Uh, though this is a little bit outdated because in Python that's not a thing. Um, but I guess this is list of characters, you know. Yeah, you know, character strings by fun. But uh but I think that's it should be pretty okay. Uh I do, as I say, always complain about uh in place functions because I feel like that's not usually an optimization you should make. But it, it's okay. Uh so the idea here is that it's it's pretty straightforward. You just have to do one at a time, just do a swap. And I think that would be pretty much it. The only thing you have to be careful about is, uh, and in this case it doesn't actually matter, but change, changing the middle character, and also just making sure that if you have a for loop, you have to do that at, do the both ends at the same time. To So basically, reversing a string is another way of saying swapping the beginning and the end characters one by one, and that's how I'm going to do it. But you know, but if you, you, know, you can play around with it, uh, there are, Things where if you're not careful, you may swap it twice or reverse it twice, something like that. But, but you know, but you would have noticed that in like, you know, a minute. You'd be like, oh yeah, I reversed it twice. That's why this isn't working. So this is a pretty straightforward problem. So let's solve this in that case. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on the comments below. I mean, this again is a pretty okay problem. So, uh, so I think that's. You know, I don't know if I have to explain that much more for this one. But the thing that I would think about, and this is also something that is a little bit uh, python -y, is that this is exclusive range. So now I'm, I would just be careful to be like, okay, if this if n is five, we want it to swap zero and one. So and this would give me two, and but it doesn't include two. So I guess that's okay. And if it's six, uh, for example, just a random even number, then this would give me three, but we do want, which is also okay actually, because in theory we want the two to swap with three, right? Um, and another thing that's a little bit meta as I'm coding is talking that through, looking at the examples, keep in mind that these examples do not test your middle swapping. Maybe it's intentional, maybe it's just coincidental, but that means that you have to write your own test cases to make sure that it works because, you know, like you may not swap this, for example, the two ends in the middle and not know this because you're like, oh, it passed system tests, right? So, okay. Anyway, but just do, let's just do the swap. This is, um, this is way Pythonically way of doing swap. Your language may be slightly different. And then now, oh, we don't have to return. Usually, you, I just get used to writing return, but I think that's mostly it. And again, of course, test your cases. Uh, have one way in the middle that is not the same character, that's just the X. Uh, do one in the middle as well. Uh, and then that's one it. Cool. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty okay. I thought it tells you that whether it's correct or not, but maybe that's just on the other UI. Because this is a little bit hard to eyeball, but it seems okay. I think the only other thing I might consider is, well, I was gonna say empty, right, just because, why not? Uh, the one character, the, again, it should be okay. And then two characters, just as things to kind of build off. And then every other case should be roughly encompassing. So yeah, so that looks good. Let's submit it. Cool. Accepted. Yay. Um, 
yeah, so I mean, I think this is pretty straightforward. This is all one space because we only do swaps. Uh, and well, we'll put n here, but that's fine. Uh, and the complexity is obviously all of n because we look at each character at least once. Uh, yeah, I think that's why I have for this problem. Let's take a hint. You can tell like opposite direction. Right? That's a really fancy way of saying this, but um, okay, cool. Yeah, let me know what you think. This is a pretty straightforward problem, so I don't even know how to talk about it. Um, if you do one in the problems, if you want getting off by once, just make sure you step through the problem uh, every step of the way, just to make sure that you you know, like. And this is what happens when you talk about invariance is that things that you assume to be true continues to be true every step of the way uh, for the loop, in this case, as a loop invariant. But yeah, uh, I mean, this is basic, so I recommend practice for all types of things. And it comes up all the time just because, or uh, in competitive programming, just because reverse string, it comes up all the time because it's an easy concept to explain. Uh, so yeah, okay, cool. That's all I have. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you like in the comments, and I will chat with y'all later. Bye bye.